name is Richie and welcome back to another video. Today you join me on Transport Fever 2 to give this uh, to give this game a first look because uh, I've been thinking about getting this for a little while. Um, I've been waiting for it to go on sale and it finally is. It's half price on PlayStation. Uh, so it's a lovely 25 quid which is cheap as chips if you ask me. So yeah, today we're going to have a first look at the free play option um, because I've, I've jumped into the campaign just to get my head around the controls. Uh, see how the game works and it kind of reminds me a bit of city skylines but you know you're connecting multiple cities with transport and whatever else uh, it's kind of hard to get your head round um, and I've had to watch a few YouTube videos for some like tips and tricks and whatever else so hopefully the free game should be quite self-explanatory so we're going to jump straight into a into a free game a sandbox mode whatever you want to call it and uh, yeah let's uh, let's build some trains and buses and whatever else so yeah let's jump straight into it Right, so here we go. I've seen stuff like this on YouTube, how to set all this sort of stuff up. Uh, map size, medium. I'm not too sure how well it runs on the console, so I'm going to keep it at medium. Uh, what are these different sizes? Oh, you can make like a really long map. Uh, no, let's let's just do, do a square map. I think that works. Uh, I want a high amount of towns, because I, I want more passenger infrastructure than, than industries, so... Got 10 towns, 61 industries, that works. Uh, water. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, have a, we'll have a bit of water. Might as well. Right, okay. We're going to do the start year as 2000, I think. Uh, the year I was born, so that sounds like a, a good year for me. Uh, easy, I'm going to stick it at that, because like I say, I'm, I've, I've struggled with the campaign a little bit. So keep it easy for now. Keep it up to four, to four cargo types. Uh, I'm going to keep all that the same. Uh, what's it saying in custom settings? Okay. Uh, vehicles, what have we got? American, Asian, uh, we got anything else? All. Well, that works, doesn't it? Oh, we'll do all of them then. Uh, town names. Okay. So obviously it generates random town names, doesn't it? And we've got all sorts of different countries. Well, that, does that just mean that it, like, does it take actual town names and stuff? So can you make, could, like, it spawn in Yorkshire or whatever else? Well, we'll keep it English anyway and see what sort of towns we get. Right, here we go. Welcome. Provide the world with the transport infrastructure it needs and make a fortune with transport services. Watch your trains run on rails, your buses and trucks thunder along roads, your ships power for the water and your planes soar for the skies. You get planes and stuff in this. Oh, cool. Okay, right. I, I didn't really get that far in the campaign. I think I've got to like chapter two or three, so I didn't actually delve into the planes. But that's quite cool that we've got planes in the game. Carry people on their way to work or shopping. Deliver the required cargo items to the town and be the reason towns grow and thrive. If you need any help, press L3, blah, 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 about the campaign. Well, we've done a bit of campaign, so it should be all right. The first thing I'm going to do is pause the game because I watched... Uh, I watched a video on YouTube and they said pause it straight away because you're going to be doing a lot of building. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's have a look at these town names that we've got. We've got Ipswich, <laughs> beautiful. Recently got uh, promoted to the Premier League. Congratulations, Ipswich. We've got what have, we've got Salford over there. We've got Win Winchcombe, beautiful, very English sounding name. Hucknall, no idea where these are in real life. Uh, Harpenden, no idea. Baltimore. Whitley Bay, <laughs> we've got Whitley, beautiful, uh, Chipping Ongar, that's in the, um, I think that's in the, what should we call it, the Cotswolds, isn't it? And what else we've got, Potton, and Scunthorpe, <laughs> got Scunthorpe, stop it, right, okay, cool, so it is just random town names, okay, can you change these town names, I wonder, uh, Inspector, if I click on this town name, however, Baltimore. Okay, yeah, you can change it. So if I wanted to, I could change this what? Let's say Coventry. Yeah? Well, we've got Coventry now. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, so first things first, I need to find, I need to either connect an industry or a town to another town with passenger. Uh, so I'm going to have a little fly around the map and see what industries need what. Uh, like I said, I've watched a few YouTube videos and it kind of gives you the, the basics. Um, so if, if you want to want to watch that video, I will link it in the description if I remember. So I'm going to see what cities need what. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. Right, so I think I'm going to start at the top of the map here. And in between Salford and Whitley Bay. Because Whitley Bay seems like they need, they need bricks, which are up here. 
uh, and they also need some tools. This chop, uh, this chip in Ongar has also got a tools place up here. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to connect these all up, uh, and these need what they need. They need fire. Uh, I don't know where to get that from. Anyway, right. I tell you what, we'll build. If we build a truck thing from here into Whitley Bay, and then we'll start building a train station, then because then we could have trains going through here and then going over to Chippenonga and then down to Salford. All right, cool, beautiful. Right, let's get building. So Whitley Bay needs a. In fact, we'll do up here. We need to build something, don't we? Uh, roads. We need to build a truck station. And I'm assuming when the uh, when the place lights up, I think it means it's connected. That's what I've got from there. Cool, so we've got that there. And then we have got to need to put a drop-off point somewhere. So where needs bricks? All around here, doesn't it? Uh, let's put some... Do you have to put them like... Can you put them in the middle and it'll serve all of them, or do you have to put multiple down? I'll tell you what, if I just do, if I just put one there for now, if we need more, I can put more in, can I? Uh, and we also need a depot somewhere, so let's put, there's a road here that's not really going anywhere, so should we just build it there, maybe? Or do we want to train, where, where do we want to put the train station? I know one bit of advice is you have to think ahead. Um, I think I might build the train station. Um, I think I might build a road along here and put a train station there. Might have to bulldoze a few houses, but that will be fine. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's let's focus on what we're doing. So road depot. Let's build that here. It's going to be a bit tight, that in it. Might have to demolish. Might have to demolish someone's house, maybe. Or should we just build it this side? Let's build it this side so we don't have to demolish anyone's house. It's not fair on them, is it? Right, so let's have a look through here then. We've got Chevrolet, beautiful. We've got some MAN trucks. Got a Peterbilt, beautiful. Got some Kenworths. What else have we got? That's all we've got, I think. Uh, we just need cargo. Uh, it was bricks, wasn't it, that we needed to... Uh, construction materials. Cool, okay, that's fine. And then we need... I'm just going to buy one for now. Because uh, if anything goes wrong, at least we, we, you know, we're safe. Sort of, we just have to get rid of the rid of the one vehicle. So if I build a line, new line, from there to here, does that work? I think so. Cool. Right, that seems to be working. So let's get, let's play it. Let's see if it's doing something. Right, he's doing something. Let's go. Beautiful. Right, we've got a wagon going. Let's see if we... Uh, why is it picking up locks? That's weird. I want him to pick up bricks. How do you change that? Right, so he's pulling into the depot now. What's he going to do? What's he going to pick up? He's not going to pick up anything, I don't think, is he? Okay, so he's not picked anything up. That's concerning. How do you change that? Right, so I've just done a bit of research. Um... Apparently, you need to, where it says rule there, you need to get, is that stone or is that like iron or something, in order to make the bricks. So we won't actually have any, we won't pick up any bricks because we don't have any, well we don't have any bricks because we need something else. So does that mean, oh gosh, okay, so we need to find a place that has bricks. That? So do we need to get a, a line from there over to there then? Is that how that works? Right, hold on, let me figure that out. Right, so, I've just played around for a little while, um, and I've realised that I need to connect this line. I need to connect this quarry along this line. So I think, I'm hoping, that I've built like a freeway system so that whatever gets made here, so the bricks that can go from here, can go along, be dropped off there, and then the wagon can go down to get some more, get some stuff from the quarry and then go straight back to, to there. So hopefully that works. Um, so let's, let's give that a go. Only one way to find out, innit? So hopefully, uh, where's me? 
Reminds me of a, I did buy another wagon as well in the meantime, uh, just so we've got two doing stuff at one given time. So hopefully, if we follow him, we should be all right. Hopefully, let's see what happens. Right, so we're coming up towards the quarry now. Okay, why is he not picking anything up? So it just wants to pick up logs. How on earth do you change that then? So if I select that now, is there not a way I can choose what gets put there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, right. I tell you what. Let's let's just let's just sack off the uh, trying to do the industries thing. I'll figure that out in my own time. I think because that seems a bit complicated. I tell you what. We will do. We'll we'll build a rail line between Whitley Bay and and Salford. So we'll start building our train line. I tell you what. Before I do any of that though, uh, where are my where are my two vehicles? Vehicle manager. Uh, you guys can go back to go back to the depot because we're sacking you off. You've uh, you failed me. Right, let's build a train station instead. Let's just do let's do what I actually want to do. I thought I'd start properly, uh, but that doesn't seem to want to do anything. So that's fine. We can just build a train station, which I wanted to build it here. Uh, oh gosh, I don't want to delete all those buildings there. Ah, oh, do you know what? Might have to. Might have to. I tell you what, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. Um, I'm sorry. I want to build my station there. Right, stations, rail, buildings. Hey, beautiful. Look at this. Right, and then I want to build. Which which side do I want to build it on? Uh, probably that side. But it seems a bit long. Yeah, we'll make it quite a big station. Might as well. Make Whitley Bay quite a nice big station. Do we want to make it catenary? Yeah, cool, that's fine. We'll do that. Right. Decent sized station. Beautiful. Okay. I know that you can edit the stations and do all sorts of bits and bobs with it. So uh, once I figure that out, I will I will do that. So Whitley Bay's got a station. Salford, where are we going to build your station then? Right. I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to build a road there. And station is going to be here in this sort of gap there. Is that a good idea for it? Cool, right. I have demolished a building here and I've just thought I'd put it there because, you know, it can build all down this way. Uh, now we just need to connect the two up. So I need to figure, how, figure out how to do that, which should be relatively simple. Tracks, yeah? Let's build, let's build a rail line. When we're going to, we're going to, can you make level crossings? Oh, beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Lovely. Right. Cool. Right, and then let me build from from this side. Uh, we are going to have to demolish a few a few people's houses. That's fine. Cool. Right. I've built a rail line. Uh, I've gone through the middle of here. Uh, it's going to be a bit questionable trying to make it double track, but we'll figure it out. It's fine. Right. It's a bit a bit rough and ready. Uh, probably a good idea to. Maybe give it two platforms. Yeah. Cool, that's fine. So it'll be like a single line section here for now. And then... Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. But, uh, I mean, sure, we can do that. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> and, and I don't know why it's done that. Um, but, yeah, fine. Okay. That way you wanted to build a tunnel. I see. Right. So that's probably just cost me an arm and a leg. Okay, and then now we need to build a depot somewhere. Uh, let's build... Where should we build the depot? Right, I'm going to build the depot there. So that if anyone wants to... If anyone works there, they can get to it straight away there. And then we can build the, the tracks. Like, like that, can we? I don't, I don't, it doesn't seem to like that, does it? Beautiful. So it likes that. It's alright with that. Can you do it this way? Too much curvature. Hmm. Right. I'll fix that next time. We just want to get some trains running. Uh, so let's see what sort of trains we've got. Come on, let's have a look. Beautiful. So we've got a rail bus. We've got an RE4 slash 4. Is that, um, it's a Swiss train, that, isn't it? 
We've got some steam trains. Beautiful. We've got uh, some shunters. What else have we got? We've got oh, we've got the, uh, the BR103. Lovely. And the 218. That's uh, coming out soon in Trains in World. Oh, we've got the Shinkansen. Beautiful. That's uh, that's in the Railway Museum at the minute. I actually sat on that. Cool. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Now we've got the, we've got the HST. 29 million for the HST. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, maybe have to think about that one. Uh, we've got the Ice one as well. How much is that? 98 million. Oh, right, okay. Seems like we can probably go with the cheapest, which is uh, the boxcar. That's still a million, though, isn't it? Oof, right, okay. Let's get... Let's couple two of them together. Yeah, let's just do that for this our single line for now. Uh, so let's buy them. Cool. And then we need to make a line. So let's do a new line between Salford and Whitley Bay. I need to fit, I need to sort out that viaduct. I have messed out messed that up a little bit. Uh, cool. And then uh, go back to the depot. Where is it? It's there. Cool. Let's. Uh, let's click on you, assign you to line two, cool, right, there we go, look at that, we're off, we're going, we've got a, we've got a little rail car, beautiful, right, let's, uh, let's wait for it to get to its stop, and see if we get some passengers, right, have we got anyone at our station, that's, that's the key thing, is there anyone here that's going to get on, on this, uh, this, uh, questionable looking train anyone there hello no no okay that's fine will anyone when it will anyone get on at Salford I wonder let's go look at it go look at it flying along the countryside beautiful and it's gonna go over that wonderful viaduct as well that I've created that I didn't mean to create but it's fine it's all right anyone getting on anyone getting on at a uh, at Salford. No. Okay. Right. So no one seems to be getting on, which is a bit, a bit okay. So I need to figure that out as well. Gosh, there's so much to this. It's quite difficult. Um, do we need to build like a bus, a bus station then? Do you reckon because there's no one, no one trying to get to the train station? Do you reckon it will probably be the best idea to get, to get a bus going around the city? What do you reckon? I think that's probably the best thing. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll tell... Let, we'll tell this guy... Hold on, let me click on him. You can go back to the depot because you're wasting a lot of money. So you go back to the depot whilst we figure this out. Uh, and then let's let's create a bus route. Keep it simple. So we'll need, we'll need a bus stop outside, outside of the train station. That's fine. We'll do like a big loop. So we'll put a bus stop there. We'll put one, put one here. Cool. One here. We'll put one. Where should we put one now? We've got one. We've got one, two, three, four. Shove one there for now. Put one in the city centre. Cool. And then, and then yeah, we'll just uh, we'll connect it back up. Okay. Cool. So I need to do another line, don't I? Between there, go to there as well. Cool, right. Yeah, it's a very complicated game to get your head round. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously doing things wrong. So if, if you know of any other ways for me to do stuff, please do let me know. Right, let me get the cheapest bus, which is the fishbowl. No idea. Right, get him. Cool. And then let's pop him on line three, I think it is. And he's not doing it. Oh, look at that bus. Look at him go. Right. Go on. Go to the bus. Go to the bus station. To the train station. Let's let's get people going. Right, here we go. We're at the train station now. Obviously, no one's getting on here. Oh, gosh, okay. Interesting. This is called New Street as well, so it's going to be... A new street station, a bit like Birmingham. So I might call this place Birmingham. We'll see. Is anyone going to get on the bus? Two people have got on the bus. Beautiful. Right, so we've got 
We've got people at least getting on the bus. We're getting somewhere with this. Cool. Right, we've got a bus doing its thing. So let leave that to it. And then we need to figure this out anyway. So, I, so what I need to do from here is figure out how the trains work. Because I want to be able to... I, I'm a, well, I mean, if I'm honest, I want to fix this. Because although it's cool having a viaduct, it's cost me about 10 million to build it. Um, so it'd probably be a good idea to demolish it and just make it like a little tunnel and whatever else. Um, but I'm liking it so far. It's a good game. It's, it's complicated. Um, and I definitely need to spend some time getting my head around some other things. Um, but I'm liking what we're doing so far. And hopefully if you enjoy it, we can make it into a little series. Um, whether that be live or through videos or whatever else. So I've just heard some money come through. So we're doing, we're doing something good, I suppose. Cool. Right, yeah, I'm going to figure out the train thing and the whole um, the whole industries thing as well. I don't understand why it keeps it keeps defaulting to wood. So yeah, once I've figured out how to change all that industry stuff, you know, I'll, I'll definitely make another, vid another video and sort of like update our, our progress. Because I think the cities grow as well with time, because this is all connected in this video as well, which is quite interesting. So um, I don't know how the cities grow. I think they sort of grow themselves. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave this video here, this first look. Like I said, I've, I've enjoyed this so far. It's, it's, there's a lot to it, and it's, well, it's definitely worth the 25 quid I paid for it. So, um, so yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. I'd massively appreciate it. And let me know what you think about doing a series on this, whether to do it a live series or just videos every now and then, you know, showing you where we are with, uh, with the progress. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.